I can pretty much pick this all the way away. Absolutely nothing left. Welcome back to Autotechnic and the third video of the jet boat series. Today we need to talk about the transom rot and what we're going to do to address it. On my last video you guys saw that I cut the floor out of the boat, got the stringers out, and I initially planned on discussing the floor prep and getting everything ready for the new stringers on that video. At the end of the video is where I discuss the transom rot that I found and that we're going to go ahead and do a hard pivot on this entire project. And I need to go ahead and get the transom addressed before I put the new stringers in. Now with getting the transom replaced, I need to pull the fuel tanks. I have to pull all the wiring, all the brackets, all the cables. And I even need to pull the jet pump intake out because it is hanging over the bottom part of the transom. The gas tanks are held in just with the strapping. You can see right up over there on the two strapping and glass on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and use the same method I did with the stringers. Just cut the glass on the bottom, cut it on top remove the tanks. And the reason why I'm doing that is I don't want to go ahead and prep all this glass for the new stringers and all the new fiberglass work when I still have basically more deconstruction to do. I'd rather do all the fiberglass prep at once, get all the dust done with and out of the way, and then move forward with reconstruction. So again, all the wire harness out, brackets out, fuel tanks out, get the transom fiberglass and wood out from the inside, and at that point, we're gonna go ahead and start doing all the prep to get this boat ready to get put back together. Um, also, the forward bulkheads, you can't really see very well because it's pretty dark up there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those as well for the same thing. I'm gonna bring those closer back to the um, cabin of the boat and add a second bulkhead further up, which was originally there and has since been removed. I'm doing all that to kind of stiffen up the cap to the hull of the boat. Um, it would, it would move around quite a bit and I just don't like the positioning of those forward bulkheads because they're too far away from the driver's feet. I don't see much point and also we do a lot of stuff on the bow so I'd rather have two bulkheads than one. Anyways, I need to go ahead and get all that cut out, all this stuff prepped and then we can go ahead and start addressing the new wood for this transom and getting that back in there. <laughs> Well, fuel tanks are out. I got everything off the back of the transom with exception of the exhaust tips. Um, they're in there so tight around the wood that I was trying to get them out and I was kind of beating on them with a hammer a little bit and I was running the risk of damaging them. So I'm gonna stop, work on getting the wood out around them, then take the tips off. But now that everything's off, you can see that they extend the rot here, that it only really looked like it was in just this area. Then once I peeled this layer of glass off that they had on it, you can see that it's rotted all the way through probably the whole bottom six inches is just super soft and completely gone. So before I continue really digging with this wood and pulling this transom out, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna work on getting this pump out. Once I have the pump out, I'm gonna jump back to getting the transom wood out. And from there, it's a bunch of fiberglass prep and cleanup. So I need to go ahead and get my mess cleaned up, start getting the hardware and epoxy and resin cut out of this intake and let's get that removed. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I got the intake out and I started whittling away on the wood here on the transom. And you can see that I'm probably halfway through, or maybe a little bit less than halfway. I'm down to the fiber last pretty much from the center and to the exhaust tip. And then I still have more to go and I haven't touched on this side. I did get the intake out. It went much better than I was expecting. I took my oscillating saw here and I went up from the bottom along the edge of the intake. And I'll show you right here. So I went up from the bottom of the boat and basically laid that flat on the intake and ran it up and cut all the epoxy. And then from the floor of the boat, I came in on the top side and cut it like so. And it took very minimal effort to get that cut out. I would say it only took me 20, 30 minutes to get that cut out. And honestly, I was really expecting a lot more work on that. Now, one thing I did notice on my intake once I got it out is you can see that it has the pattern for what appears to be a shoe and ride plate. And this surface has actually been ground on quite a bit by hand and it has a curve to it, I presume. So it matches the keel of the boat. My boat isn't set up for a ride plate and I'm not understanding how they had a shoe on here. So I kind of had planned since I had this out to have it machined for a ride plate and shoe anyways. So I made some phone calls and I did find someone that's gonna be able to go ahead and get this machine down even though it's been modified and get a proper shoe i'll have a ride plate on it and once i get it back from there we'll strip it down repaint it and get it reset in the boat now for the wood you can see that i have it down to the bare glass there there's a little bit of wood that i can sand off and i'm still working over there this side's untouched and i've tried several methods but is what i found has worked best is i take again the oscillating saw which has been a great tool for this project and I basically just slicing a little, you know, crisscross pattern into the wood. And that allows me just to take a standard chisel and hammer and knock it out in smaller sections. As you can see the mess that I've been pulling out. I don't want to use anything too aggressive and cut into the back of the transom of the fiberglass. So I'm just taking it slow and small bits at a time with the hammer chisel and score in the plywood. And it's coming out, you know, that's maybe half a day's worth of work. So I'm hoping by the end of today that I'll have the rest of this wood out of the transom and I can start prepping the glass and get everything cleaned up and get the new one in. I got 99% of the transom out and it took patience, elbow grease, and a hammer and chisel. You can see the end result here. And there's still a little bit of wood left in this corner, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit that with the grinder. This is all pretty much down to the bare glass. You can see I have a pretty big lip right here um, from where the fiberglass and wood were where I just cut it out and I need to grind that down. It's pretty much all the way around the perimeter. I need to handle that. But before I go ahead and get into grinding and making the dusty mess, I need to finish the prep of the rest of the boat. And there's a couple things that I wanted to go over of things that I will be addressing. Now, for one, I'm gonna be replacing these bulkheads that sit here and hold the fuel tanks in. Um, it's hard to see on this side here because of the plastic, but if you look carefully, I don't think it shows. There's actually a crease in my gel coat because this piece is only tabbed in on this one upper side. It's not tabbed in the back side at all. So with the boat flexing and moving, there's just too sharp of a line and it actually has a, a crease on both sides. And that other one is cracked on the bottom and pretty loose. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take them completely out and I'll rework them. 
As I previously mentioned, I'm gonna go ahead and rework the whole bulkhead situation in the front. So I'm gonna cut those out. I'm gonna cut these out. And then I need to continue getting a lot of this tabbing out of the boat for where they had the stringers and this floor support. This floor support you can see here is, I mean, they just laid mat down and it's a really, really bad job, real rough. Very little care put into how they put that down. Is so what I'm gonna do is before I start grinding on these is I'll take just my normal chisel and a hammer and is what I've been doing is just coming in on this native glass here that was under the stringer and hammering the chisel out this way. And you can see where I was able to do that and break most of that big tabbing off. I'll again come back with a grinder once I'm done with that and finish that prep and we'll re-glass over it with the new stringers. There is another odd thing on this particular boat that I'm going to address while I'm here. And you can see these two pipe feeds that come in on either side that are capped off. So... At some point in the life of this boat, somebody was tapping. You can see underneath here, they had these ports. I don't know the exact name of them, and I don't even know what the purpose of these is. But they were tapping, I assume, a water source, feeding it to the engine, or honestly, I don't know what they were doing with these because we have all the pressurized water we need from the pump. But these have been capped off ever since we've had the boat and there's nothing to hook them up to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take out all the hardware of these fittings. And before I get into installing the stringers, I'm gonna glass these holes up on both sides from top and bottom. Then I'll go ahead and put the stringers in and finalize that repair. If any of you guys know what those are, please jump in the comments and let me know what they may have been doing in the past. I'm definitely curious to know, but either way, they're getting taken off this boat. All right, guys, so that got you caught up to where we were at the transom and the next steps I've planned to take. I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down, get this mess cleaned up, and get the rest of these small tasks taken care of, and we'll bring you back here in a second. <laughs> So I went ahead and got most of all that tabbing knocked out. You can see in these areas, it was getting deeper than I wanted to in the layers underneath. So I just stopped there and I'll address the rest with grinding it out. And there was quite a bit of dry layup right back on the tabbing to the transom. So I have more grinding there um, to go ahead and smooth that and get that dry glass out. For these water pickups here, um, they were epoxied in with the same kind of uh, setting epoxy as the pump intake. So I just took a Sawzall, cut them flush, and then a die grinder and ground out the outside diameter 
of the tubes because the epoxy was around the diameter of the tube in the hole. And once I did that, I was able to take a hammer and just knock them out. So I'll have to go ahead and prep those holes and get those ready to be repaired and sealed up. Now I know I mentioned I was gonna go ahead and prep all the fiberglass in one shot on the boat. And as we saw, I went ahead and took care of most of the back of the transom and a little bit back here on the floor. I went ahead and changed course on that because there's a lot more repair and work that I need to do on the bottom. And I wanna keep a smooth, flat surface. And there's a tool that I've been kind of eyeballing for other projects that I think is going to be perfect for that. And I've not purchased that tool yet. So I'm going to go ahead and pause on the fiberglass prep from here and get that tool in order so I can continue once it comes in. I still have plenty to do to this transom. There's quite a bit of cleanup I need to do in these areas where they had just, it was just resin. It was built up with resin. And on the keel of the boat back there where they had a ride plate, that needs a little bit more work to go ahead and get the rest of that ground out. Um, you can see right underneath, it's pretty thin back there. So I need to clean that up and get that built back up. And also back in this corner back here, there's actually about right in there, there's actually damage on this other side. Right here, this hole goes straight through. So I'm gonna have to re-glass that up and do some repairs there. And also back here, you can see this is kind of in the same area where it needs a repair but this is quite a bit inset from where this transom glass is at. So I'm gonna build that up flat so the new wood for the transom will fit and go all the way over into that corner. So I have, you know, it 90% cleaned up here, but I'm gonna go ahead and glass those areas that need that extra help. And there's also this right here where, see if I can show you, the fiberglass is separating from the gel coat. Get right there. So I'm mean, gonna need to go ahead and attempt to repair that. And is what I think I'm gonna do is see if I can go ahead and squeeze some fiberglass resin in that crack and just clamp them together. I mean, it's been that way for quite a while. I don't think it's worth trying to cut the glass out and repair or get into the gel coat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and hope for the best. So like I mentioned, I just need to go ahead and finish up all that cleanup and the fine detail work. I need to get a template made for the transom and then I need to go ahead and get my wood and get it cut out. So that'll give me plenty of stuff to do until I get that tool to finish the rest of the prep. But for now guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it for this video. Um, pretty much just covered the transom removal on this one and a little bit of the prep. So on the next video, we're gonna keep continuing on with the transom and I'll show you all the work that we just talked about that I have ahead of me and we'll go from there. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the channel. Please let me know what you think of the project and the work I'm doing below in the comments. If you guys haven't already, do subscribe, turn on notifications. Thanks for watching.